Hi, I'm gonna show you how to make this realistic look in a really short time. So let's start. Let's create first of all a landscape. Let's bring the Y axis up, let's rotate and find a place for the object. Let's create a cube. Scale it down by pressing T on the keyboard. You can decide any object uh, just to show how to show how we can make it. Okay, let's go a bit closer. Okay, let's select the cube and press C to make it editable. Let's go to the polygon mode, Command A or Control A. <clears throat> then let's press I, and we extrude this inner side and let's press D on the keyboard to extrude inside okay so this is a basic shape you can create any kind of shape this is just to show how we do so let's create a material and add it to the cube let's go inside the material and let's go to the reflectance and add backman uh, let's make the attenuation uh, additive and let's put the roughness up a bit and bring the reflection strand down. We go a little bit like that. Okay, now let's create another material and add it to the landscape. Now we need to recreate the ground effect. So uh, let's go to color, texture and load image. I'm choosing a ground texture which I found online and you can choose any and try it out how it fits. And yeah, let's copy this channel and paste it to the bum. Paste channel. Okay. Now let's go to the landscape and click on the texture tag. Uh, let's change the projection to cubic. Resize the length U and B to 20%. You can change this according to your texture. Can make, you can see how it fits. I'm gonna add a little bit more bump to the to the thing. Maybe 45 would be good. Okay. Uh, now we have the cube, everything texture. Let's create a sky. So physical sky make really good impact to the scene. You can change the time here or uh, to make it a bit warmer in the evening or whatever. So I'm gonna keep it like default. Uh, let's add a camera, okay? And let's move around. Let's try to find a good spot. I like to go close. A good close up. Mm. I'm gonna bring the cube down and make it a bit smaller. Let's move the camera also, okay? Yeah, now let's go to the render settings and let's make the render settings uh, to physical. And in physical, let's uh, check data field. Then let's add ambient occlusion and global illumination. Okay, uh, in camera, we need to make the f stop to one. You can change this according how much blur you want on your scene. I like I like it that it's kind of blurry and some parts are visible. I think it's really nice. Uh, in the focus object, let's drag uh, the cube. So you can also decide your focus distance just by doing it yourself or using this. But I like to bring the ta like the target here, so it kind of works nicely so let's see how it looks so far i have a res resolution of 800 times 600 you can change it to get a bigger resolution of course by changing this um, other thing what i like to do is to uh, make the physical high to get a better better result of course it's gonna take longer time the picture what I show you I close it already okay the picture what I show you earlier uh, I 
it took me around 30 minutes to render and I use physical high um, and global illumination high and also record density high uh, but yeah this is the look but in a really short time I'm not sure how long this tutorial is but in less than five minutes you can do something like that okay thanks for watching bye